So I'm here in Pokhara, Nepal, catching in some peaks here. I'm actually here on a business trip. Thought it'd be fun to show a few things that I've seen. I uh, don't have the family with me, so, and I'm gonna try to do my coworkers a favor and not include them in any shots, but yeah, really enjoying it here. It's a beautiful place. It's tropical. There's jungles in Nepal. Didn't really realize that. I tried to figure out the name of that peak, and it starts with an M and I didn't get the pronunciation right. Machapura or something like that? Anyway, it's a cool peak. And over here, this town is built around this lake that makes it quite the tourist destination. And there's more mountains over here. There's, another, there's two more named peaks here. And this is the Annapura Range. Annapura. Seen a ton of birds. You yeah, haven't added my bird list. It's a new thing. In Pokhara, if you look up around, there's all kinds of things, interesting things. I look on this hill. This is the stupa, Peace Pagoda, which I saw from the terrace. And here it is. So this is a can of Capri Sun. It tastes amazing. So there was this little cafe uh, just one hill over from the Peace Pagoda, mm -hmm. and we hung out there and uh, just checked out the view for a while, watched the clouds come and go from the peaks, and yeah, got some good video. It was a good quarter mile hike up some steep stairs to get to where we were at next to the Peace Pagoda. Um, after we had uh, relaxed and got our breath back, it was time to go on to some more sightseeing around Pokhara. So that is not quite a poison ivy, but stinging nettle something something. It's just growing here by the side of the path in this public park that we paid to get into. So that's fun. This little stream isn't really little. Because I can hear it down that big board. Fortunately, we are very serious about our protection here with these rails that are six feet plus tall. And apparently, this is Debbie's fall because a guy named Debbie, he fell off and was never seen again. But what I'm seeing here. I'm guessing is a limestone base, and since we just learned at Mammoth Cave all about limestone caves and sinkholes, in this little park around Debbie's Fall, uh, there's this cultural area, these funny little things to take pictures at, so saw what was there. It was a good time. And then we headed across the street uh, to the other entrance to a cave, and uh, you'll see this site here in a minute. It was super cool. This is serious. These stairs led down into the cave and inside the cave there was a temple there, um, so a religious site, um, but uh, what we were going to see was further in. But 
So no video in the cave, but we're going in a cave. Okay, so we're deep in the cave. We've passed the temple site, so I think I'm good to take video again. The water is just still working on this wall very actively. Okay, this is seriously impressive. So up there is where we were standing a few minutes ago across the street. We came in and had to pay a different entrance fee. And now we see this water bombing down into this cave. Then we went and had some traditional Nepalese food. Uh, platter comes surrounded with all these different flavors. It doesn't look like a lot, but um, all together, uh, there was a lot and interesting. You eat all of that with your hands. And I tried, it did not feel very effective. I lacked the skills for that. So it's amazing that this is all an aqueduct. So this water is being carried across the top of that gorge down there. Okay, so I'm holding tight to my phone here. Oh, that does not do it justice. Okay, so you have to look deep and there's several levels of shelves to get a sense how deep that is. And of course, there is a waterfall. Adding to the fun. Okay, this is the other side of the bridge. There's a bridge across the top with cars going over it. Huh. Driving down the, the highway here, we saw tons of these bridges. And uh, this is what it's like to be on one. And they cross all these valleys, like this. You can tell there was major river events in the ancient history, but uh, now, in the dry season, this is pretty tame. Uh, these are pretty solid. These are all steel construction, steel cables. So we're deciding that those guys down there are fishing and they create a little channel off the main one to drain water in and I guess catch fishing or something.